Angela. I'm born in Brazil and I live in Curaçao. I moved to Curaçao in 1993. Um, after that, like in 97, I started to dive. In uh, 99, I started to, dive, uh, to work in the dive industry. After that, work in many and different places. Uh, not too many, a couple of different places actually. Um, and 2012, we uh, I'm since 2012 actually I'm co-owner with uh, another friend um, of Gobe Divers. Yeah, and so and we are all in Curaçao, a beautiful place. So I'm going to tell a little bit about Curaçao. I think somebody took me out of the view, but at least you guys can see Curaçao. Do you see me, Elaine? No? I cannot hear you. Ah, yeah. Now it's good. You can hear me now. I, I was muted. So, I think you put your screening on full screen, sharing on full screen. Yeah, my screen. Yeah, then you, you, you press full screen, but okay, it works. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I I can see it again. Uh, yeah, because uh, because it's important that people see what is going on there on the uh, on the right. uh, pictures, no? So on this picture, for instance, you can see where Curaçao is um, by on the south of the Caribbean, just by Venezuela. Yeah. Uh, we speak Papiamento, like I was telling, but the majority of the people here speak at least other three languages, like Dutch, Spanish, and English. So communication is very easy on the island. Yeah, we have a lot of nice uh, things here, like the name Curaçao came from the time of the uh, uh, colony, when the Portuguese would travel, and once they were close by the island they would leave the um um uh, mariners or how do you call it uh, sailors that were sick and when they would come back from south america those guys were like nice health happy married maybe i don't know but uh yeah they were good so every time they would come and do the same uh and they start to call the this island the um, um a ilha da curação which means the island of the cure people stop here to cure and then go back perfect for all days no uh, everybody likes to be in a place of a cure so curaçao it is um this is the island yeah as you can see it's a very long and nice and we have a fringe reef on the island. That's why you see all these dive flags along the south coast. Yeah, on the north coast is the one for the Caribbean. So on that area is uh, it's possible dive, but it's less possible. It's very wide uh, ocean on that side. Yeah. Uh, also from Curaçao, we have something really nice. It's five o'clock somewhere in the world. So the blue curacao. Yeah. This was made here. Correct, Marie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. This is original from curacao. And the color is exactly like the color of the ocean here. So this is representing the color of our ocean. Yeah. Um, and that's how it is. You can have that when you come and visit us as well yeah uh what else we can tell about curacao okay besides of the uh, um diving which is beautiful diving here we have the downtown that's an amazing place it's really as you can see on the picture yeah uh, when you have the ocean like this it is just like a mirror and um it's a world heritage means all these buildings need to be preserved as they are since the colony time with that we have a lot of history also and it's not just leaving behind so with the history you can visit different museums 
yep uh we have uh, the um, um the sorry yeah these buildings made by the uh, painted by uh, local artists yeah and they made the houses uh, big murals so it's it's just beautiful nothing else than that um this is the uh, synagogue yeah which is the oldest synagogue on this side of um, the hemisphere that is, is still in use nowadays yeah um the museo Kural Landa, which is telling you about the time of the colony and all the things that used to happen on that time opening open 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 things that happen on that time it's a uh, it's a good to it's a very good and i tell it's a good place to visit you should go there as well uh dining also we have a lot of nice places to to have a good food uh local food or international food as well uh near the water with a beautiful view sunsets or if you like just uh, outside in the town as well um the ostrich farm yeah is another place to visit not only the ostrich farm but uh which is a place where the kids will love it all the kids yeah doesn't matter the age and also next to the ostrich farm is the aloe vera plantation where they have also a factory there and they make different types of uh, products out of the aloe uh, curacao aloe grows just like a grass it's like whatever place you throw a piece it grows like amazing really good going more to the west side of the island we have the um, park of national uh Chetiboka is a national park yeah besides this you have also the uh on, very close to the Chetiboka, we have um, the Christophe park which is the you can make a, a climb there early in the morning and the national park the Chetiboka, is where uh, bocas means uh, base yeah and that's where uh, many turtles come to uh, nesting so it's a protected area we can visit it and that's uh, uh, part of the north side so the ocean is very rough it's amazing to see the power of the ocean there it's really beautiful uh you can walk on the base also and i see some nice and beautiful uh, views that uh, you need to go by car of course if you like if you don't like to walk that much but it's a beautiful places to see this is santa marta bay yeah and this is like um the chatboca looks like one of the places on a chatboca the ocean is just like this in a beautiful day yeah so we have also in curacao one of the most beautiful uh one no many of the most beautiful beaches of the caribbean yeah and the the water nice and clear and many of them the drop off is just like you swim 50 meters away or uh 50 yards and then you are just by the drop off of the reefs yeah so as you go diving also the family can stay on the beach so that's not only for divers but you can combine the the place um the color of the ocean like the blue curacao yeah uh amazing beautiful places um nice beaches like i said and sand nice sand beach easy entrances yeah uh we have also like a carnival and this is not a carnival actually this one is like the harvest uh, uh feast that they make uh since the um, the um, time of the colonies so this is a cultural um uh event 
that they have on the island every year. Um, and on the nature, you see the nice, the nice birds and all of them. Yeah, it's not going on. This is the tree. Yeah. Oh, some they call it oriole, or something like that in English. Yeah. And in the morning, we just wake up with the song of the birds. It's really, really nice. Much better than a, <laughs> a brrrring waking you up. Yeah. Uh, here you see a little bit of the west side of the island. Yeah. It's the island, as you can see on the, um, on the map, where you go back later on. Uh, it has uh, like a banana shape. So you have one side that's. Uh, more wave and another side that is just like very calm and of course when the ocean changes is the opposite yeah the the more the most protect area become very rough and the other one nice and flat oh guys you can even uh, rent a harley davidson here and i go around you know uh, feel the wind on your face enjoy the uh, the uh, view the ocean is stopped in a different places and that is also something awesome awesome to do <laughs> we uh, we can uh, get you guys there yeah just make sure that you have your uh, motorcycles license so you can rent the uh, the Harley Davidson too yeah um now let's go back to what you like to do most yeah and what we do every day is diving yeah um we at uh go divers we do guide boat and shore dive both of them yeah uh go divers is uh very much central on the uh on the island we are like a 10 minutes from the downtown by car, um, which is Williamstad, the one that you saw the first picture there, the colorful houses. Um, in front of us, we have a very nice house reef where you can uh, do a uh, night dive, a uh, day dive, anytime dive. And uh, around us is a lot of other great dives. So with this, we uh, also have like as you can see i don't know if you can see there but our staff is pretty much the uh, the recreational part is a female yeah and we we have uh we have uh our friends helping us no elaine hi elaine we have our friends have helping us yeah elaine and bernardo they do take care of the technical uh, part and uh, the tech side and the rebreather so they can help you on that as well yeah uh, the good thing on both dives yes we go in the places where you don't reach by shore as you could see on the picture that is just a wall there and it's easier to go by boat than jumping off the cliff no so um that is like around the island almost uh, named dive sites around 70 but that you can reach by boat it's at least 40 of them yeah that are reached only by boat uh the boat is like for 12 people but with the uh, covid we are taking like six people uh basically we take six people because the boat is we are just working on it to make it better when the 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 um, uh everything is open again yeah and with that we have the moray buoys and one boat is staying the moray buoy for diving so you have the whole reef for a private actually only for yourself because it's only six people on the boat yeah um as 
you can see you can this is the boat you can go out come in sit down and that's it you are ready for the next dive site have some refreshment some nice water and something that we can offer you and that's let's go for the next one yeah uh the reefs yes just like this you jump off the boat yeah uh you are basically on top of the drop off uh the majority of the reefs starts at like five meters and it drops down in a uh, walls or slopes or a drop offs a lot of fish a lot of life a good place to make like safety stop it's not like just waiting for the safe to stop, but you can look around. It's a lot of creatures that we see in the shallow water. Um, Yellow-headed jawfish is in the parts where there is a sand bottom. Uh, octopus sometimes. Uh, the little fish is there just looking at you. And uh, yeah, beautiful reef. Anyways, uh, and very suitable for also the uh, people that need to do a long stop in a shallow water because you have a lot to see take a camera make hundreds thousands of pictures but the good ones keep yourself neutral and make sure that you protect our reef okay uh, this is a little bit how it looks like some of uh, the um, creatures that you may see uh, for sure, in Curaçao, yeah, we have some uh, a nice reef, like I said, um, turtles. We have a couple of places on the island where you can see a lot of turtles, yeah, uh, not one or two, but they live on the area. So you can see the, uh, like, the most I have seen together was like 17 counting in one dive, 17 different turtles, not the same one going around me for 17 times, yeah. Um, like I said before, we have like nice walls, yeah. And you see later on, I'll talk about the lionfish where you can do also a dive to hunt the lionfish, yeah. Um, to try to keep them down as well, yeah. The, the, uh, the amount of lionfish, like you all know, this is a problem for, for the whole uh, Caribbean, South Florida. So we try to keep them down just to help the, the, the reef and have a nice dinner, a nice ceviche with uh, some beer. Uh, they taste really good. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah uh, a swimming pool which is one of the blue curacao uh, 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 how do you call it mixed up uh, one of the blue curacao drinks yeah a very healthy reef yeah very nice beautiful the water is not clear it is transparent as you can see here yeah um and uh yeah we don't have much current so marvelous you can do dives from any any um type of dive that you like and you have many dive sites actually the reef looks pretty much different from one to the other dive sites so some reefs you have more spawns other you have more hard corals um you can go one reef next to the other and they are completely different yeah uh, maybe you see one type of fish in all the reefs like the cryorasses but um some of them have a lot of bogus or even on the same reef the bogus likes to stay more to the left side than to the right side i don't know why they have their reason um so even when you go on the same reef to the right or to the left, you may see a completely different reef. It's not like the same thing, yeah? Some places have a lot of spawns, more than others. So that makes, okay, this is Angela's kitchen. This is not a, 
<laughs> this is not a hell's corner. This is Angela's kitchen. Yeah. Or, uh, okay, this is the rancho. Or, okay, this is the uh, wreck, the crash. This is the double reef. And this is the water factory. So we have a lot. Yeah. This is uh, Sands Plateau. So a lot of nice things. Yeah. Uh, as I said, beautiful. Uh, sometimes you have the uh, luck to see this um, big eye squad. Uh, sorry for my English if that's not. You can go in between them and they love that you're there because you feel like more of protection with the other fishes just uh, hunting on them, then that's a great thing. Yeah, really nice. I, I, can, they, I can stay there one hour, no problem. Um, yeah, clear waters, nice, shallow, a lot of creatures. As you can see, two, uh, four weeks ago, we didn't need any uh, wetsuit here. Just a rash guard was enough. Yeah. The water was like 28, no, 29 to 30 degrees, actually. And this is a very shallow water, uh, maybe three meters or nine feet deep. So it was like nice and warm. 19 minutes dive without suit, no problem. And also we have racks over here. This is our one of my favorites. I love it. Superior producer. But unfortunately, you cannot like be sure that you're going to dive there because if there is cruise ships, we cannot dive on this side. But if you have the chance, it's a beautiful one. Okay, and sometimes the ocean conditions, it's not uh, really, really uh, favorable to do this one. And there is a reason the wreck, the wreck is there. <laughs> yeah, there is a reason the wreck is there, okay. Uh, do I need to tell the reason? No, that's maybe, fine. Maybe every time I, I have the end, I can explain it. Oh, okay, uh, no, okay. okay. Maybe at the end when you we have extra time, yeah. So this is we have not only this one, we have a lot of shallow wrecks also that we can go at any time, yeah. And also artificial, artificial uh, uh, places where it's a lot of life. Even when you see that there is uh, things that were put in there, but they are good for all levels. So don't not only a defense that can go there. But also uh, people with uh, open water or even for doing the first dive, they can go there too. Okay. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the coral spawning. Yeah. That's one of the best things, best events on the evenings or the night under the water here. Yeah. It's a big feast. Yeah. All the uh, corals. Maybe uh, having fun, yeah, under the water, and uh, it's it's an event that happens in a couple of uh, uh, times during the year in Curaçao. Yeah, uh, here first thing I have here is the um, is the um, uh, calendar, yeah, schedule. It's like predictions, so we. We try to be there on the right time, on the right place, but we can we can guarantee that everything will occur on that time, on that place. You just need to be you. We need to be on the right time and right place. Um, uh, so since a long time ago, Curaçao we start to see this, and I make uh, the uh, calendar. The predictions are based on the previous years. So uh, when people see one or the other coral, they would put this all in a database. And at the end, was one of the, the places that made the first uh, schedule for um, the predictions of the coral spawning. Yeah. 
The majority of this happens in September and October. Those are the biggest months, but we still have some cor uh, some corals are in August, actually. Some of them are more in August. And from June and July, there are some corals that also uh, go. Yeah. And in November, uh, we have a little chance also to see others. Okay. So that happens just uh, after some days after the full moon and a certain time of the day what we do we prepare ourselves to go in the water yeah and we go in the water like before the time of the coral spawning um they start in a deeper water so they come back in a shallow we just uh, go in the water and stay close to one or other coral that we know that is going to to is there is scheduled to spawn on that day and we stand there and wait until we can see the magic happening okay that is like really uh, amazing thing yeah, it's really beautiful uh seeing the picture is beautiful and when you were there it's like a wow you get really like wow that's true um this is the um, star coral yeah like uh, i think that looks like the mountain star coral here yeah uh and as you can see the uh, the polyps not the polyps but the middle of it is start to open slowly and a little this is the female gamut is like an egg and so it just pops out and it start to float on top of the coral and it's going floating floating it goes to the surface and the masculine is like a smoke thing coming out and they both go to the surface on the surface they do um what's the word again they do get uh, uh the masculine and the feminine is going to be um, uh you have the word they, they merge together. <laughs> yeah they merge together sorry i forgot the, the word in english now uh and even in portuguese and then, and then once the larva falls down back into the uh into the 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 bottom it, it will grow a new one since we uh, have as you can see yeah other things also like here you can see we prefer to do not take a very um, bright light yeah because that can disturb they like to they prefer the, the dark <laughs> they prefer the dark okay the color so uh when you have a light just like a picture is like a split of seconds yeah but better we don't have uh, a bright light during the coral spawning because then we may disturb their their environment okay so here you can see one just popping out yeah a one little uh coral uh, one little uh polyp um a gamut just coming out on the details and all the others are just red to go so it starts on deep and goes shallow usually i do a shallow dive so i can spend like one and a half hour like i was telling uh waiting for it yeah that is how it looked like a little bit yeah so oh yeah other thing that is also very, very nice during the coral spawning, if you don't see any coral spawning, even, you know, you see all the fishes like crazy looking for it because they love to have that feast for once a year that they can eat those eggs. So sometimes you see like a schools of uh, the ones that is like just in the afternoon uh schools of uh butterfly fish they go like crazy looking for the coral 
So you can go behind them because they can smell well. Where is the coral going to spawn? That's one of the, the things. Okay, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And also the other creatures. Uh, all the, 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 uh, this one is like, wow, a lot of, a lot of eggs. It's like, woohoo. And we have not only the corals, but we have the creatures as well. Yeah. They also like the Christmas tree or the um, uh, brittle stars. Yeah. They are like amazing. The brittle stars, when they are going to spawning, this one you see, this is the masculine. Yeah. This is the masculine that you see right now. They stay all the way on the top of their legs like that and certainly you see that is smoking coming out like do you see this reddish thing coming out of this one that's the masculine gamut yeah and this is the feminine and uh, the cause yeah uh, I remember still the first time that I saw this, I had a camera with me and I keep on watching it. I forgot completely to take a picture. I was like, wow, I can, I would not like, I didn't want to miss a second of it. So beautiful they are. Um, okay. We also participate and as you know, no? The word is, uh, like I was looking a couple of minutes ago, other presentations, uh, our big problem is the one time use plastic. You know? And we try to help as much as we can to conserve the nature. With that, we, a um, um, couple of years ago, we did uh, adopt a dive site on the project where and also we participate with the uh, sea turtle conservation for uh, help then with uh, monitoring the turtles here. So with the uh, uh, project aware, what we do is every month we have, um, we have a monthly uh, cleanups, yeah, uh, which is a dive only for a cleanup. Of course, every dive become a cleanup when when you go down and you find a fishing line of course you take it and but once a month we go dive only to look for any fishing lines the um any uh, plastic that may fall on the bottom uh and also we try as much as possible to keep outside of the dive site um you know clean like by the beach and we try also to uh, educate the people and ask their cooperation and tell them how important it is for um for keep the oceans and the nature um free of a plastic uh but now the thing that i'm crazy in the house because uh everything that is plastic i try to reuse 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 until we can uh uh recycle or actually we try to do not get it and so on but uh, as i was telling we could uh, we could lower our trash for i think a quart of the amount that we used to have just by or reusing, recycling, or actually rethinking about what you're going to get. Um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but we try. Uh, so that's the reef. You see, even when we make a cleanup, we take a lot of things, but the reef is really, uh, it's not like a trash. Yeah, it's just a reef. But we try to help in whatever we can. The winds here are very, very um, strong as well. That also 
you know, makes things to fly and uh, go in the ocean without uh, that people live just unattended. That's also something accidentally they can go to. Um, about the turtle conservation, yeah, we have places here, like I said, with uh, green turtles, a lot of green turtles we have here, sometimes Hawksbill. So uh, we are volunteer, or I am a volunteer on the uh, sea turtle conservation Curaçao. And my task is uh, at least once a week, uh, a specific day, uh, I go to one of the, the spots, to, um, which is called uh, Playa Grande, to make the monitoring of the turtles. So during the monitoring, we look if they have any um, hooks, if they have any lines, if they have any uh, uh, ohms, uh, or if they look like they are not well. So what we do, if something is not right, and also we count them. Last time I saw like eight uh, between big ones and the small ones. Yeah, and eight, uh, they're, they're really big. They're like like this, yeah. Uh, I think this is what two, two and a half feet, something like that. They're huge. Some are that are huge, and the cute little ones. Um, and in case that something is wrong, what I need to do is like take a picture of the chicks, the top of the head, and send it for the um, conservation. And they are going to look on their database and then come and then take action. Like if it's with a hook, they need to capture it, take it out of the water, take the hook out, and then bring it in the water again. Uh, so action is taken by people that are um, trained for that. Yeah, it's not just uh, anyone can go there and grab it. But um, yeah, we try to keep them. Uh, safe, nice, as much as it's possible. This one is one of my favorites there. It's the one I banned it. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see here, but uh, she don't have this eye, which is the left eye. Yeah. Uh, but she's there all the time. Beautiful one. She even have a name. When I, when I banned it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, guys, after, uh, you know, so much uh, um, activities done in Curaçao, let me see, did I forget any activities, a good one? Probably I did, but you need to come here to see it, yeah, and choose all the activities by yourself. But after a nice dive, you know, an afternoon dive as well, you can uh, come to the uh, one of the restaurants by the bay. This is Santana Bay. And in the evening, have a nice uh, happy hour or a nice dinner with this beautiful view of Santana Bay. Yeah. Uh, enjoy the whole island and dive with us. Yeah. I hope uh, I hope you guys have any questions. You can um, feel free if you have uh, if you want to even to chat. You can do that as well. Yeah, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. You have a lane. You want to tell something, or you go on. Yeah. Okay. You have anything to tell extra, Anna Marie? No. So many things. So. <laughs> Um, maybe you can tell your favorite dive site. Oh, you know, Ana Maria, I have like so many, all dive sites are different. So it's difficult to tell the favorite one because each one has something special of, uh, uh, of the dive site itself. So it's really, really, uh, I don't know how uh, how to 
to to tell my favorite dive site. Um, my favorite dive site is the one that just going to do the next. You know, we never know. We can be in the water. You can see so many things that it's really nice. Um, and maybe uh, I know your dive shop is um, with a resort. Maybe you can tell a little bit about the resort. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> you can or not? Sure. No, okay. The, we have, uh, yes, we have accommodations. And actually, we have a special uh, during the, during the uh, Scuba Digital. And if you guys like to know about the special, you can contact us. We have a hotel that is offering like a breakfast as well. Uh, even we have a, a lot of places close by for dinner. Uh, lunch, restaurants, and as I said before, as I said before, it was, uh, it is also um, uh, close by to the downtown, where there is a lot of uh, restaurants and uh, other places. So go down, go down, sure, apply there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. And Angela, uh, the, your, and the hotel, is it close to the hotel? Is it close to the uh, hotel? Yeah, just like uh, our, yeah, uh, just like our, our, uh, our just uh, like our, uh, uh, dive dive shop. We are just like crossing. Yes. We are just crossing like road, and now there is a dive site and the beach. That that sounds like a really it's easy way of diving. It is. Um, and, and for, for the boat driving, the boat is really short by close by your or people need to travel a lot of uh, distance towards oh, the boat. Or well, the boat stays in the marina, which, which is like, like uh, five, five minutes, minutes from the dive shop. shop. And yes. if you have people, people in a different, different place, we can pass by and pick them up as well. That sounds great. Beautiful. Yeah. We have, we have other other, other uh, hotels close, close by, uh, uh, apartments also. also. So, so like, like Marriott, Marriott. It's, it's a it's a, a lot, lot of, of fun, good, good places, places to go. Sounds really really great. And actually, and actually I'm also really really, really impressed with that mentioned you mentioned that you have a complete female, female staff. staff. So, that so that means also the boat captain is a female. female. Uh, uh, or or me, me and Ima, we both Yes, and, and, and you're both a certified captain. Yeah. Sorry? Sorry? And you're both a certified captain as well? Yeah. yeah. We are both, so we are you, you five, girls are handling the boat. Great. That's great. So it's a really, really female friendly dive shop, and of course, well, your no, friend, no, you know, you. Okay. <laughs> oh, that, that helps, that helps. <laughs> um, during your presentation, we saw a superior producer. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the history of the rest. I'll ask supposed to do that, but he's not in at the moment. So maybe you can explain to um, how the, when, since when the wreck was there. And, Hi. Okay. Uh, uh, so it was a uh, cargo, yeah. yeah. And, and it was, was going out, out of this bay, bay that you see on the picture. picture that's on the bay. bay. But, but it was, was uh, like over. The ocean, the ocean was, was not, not like this. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, so once it went out, it started to have a problem, and. He called back the uh, master and he, he said, said, Oh, I want to go back. Mayday, mayday, mayday. May day. The, the guy, guy said, said, No, you cannot come inside, inside of the bay. bay. If you sink in here, here nobody, nobody can go out of the bay anymore. So, so they, they were just, just in front of the bay, bay. and they could go a little, little bit more. They, they are very close, close to this bay. bay. And, and there they start to sing. You, you see pictures, pictures that they sing the, the, the on the third one, the third one, the on the, 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 the bottom. And nobody, nobody died 
dream is accident. accident. But it was full of a good. So, so the, the people could have saw were making a feast like a room, uh, clothes, uh, uh for the for the bed, the table clothes, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And that, that was, was the time that the, uh, the recompression chamber had more work. <laughs> they were like with a lot of work and was one of the best Christmas of the people. Everybody in white. <laughs> yeah, because it's funny because everything, of course, that came out was really smelly. And one lady, she made a special kind of soap to get, get the smell out of it. Then, <laughs> so finally, everything was nice smelling yes. again on the island. Yeah. <laughs> More questions? For me or for the rest of the people? For everyone. Well, maybe we can learn them properly in the meantime, our local language. Or yeah, sure. First of all, uh, if you come on the airport, you will see a big sign with Bambini, and that means welcome. And for sure, we would like to welcome everybody on the island. And uh, buy for or not buy for you. You're welcome, Alfie, Bambini. And in the morning, we say, Bon dia. And in the afternoon, you say, Bon tardi. Bon noche. And of course, the word is a phrase with a lot of people now. And then we go for dinner and we say, Bon appetit. Yeah. Or thank you means mashallah. And then one of my favorites is mashallah dushi, bon ding dushi. And dushi is a really nice word. It has a lot of meanings. And one of the sweethearts. Um, the love of your life, you call bushy, but also when some, something is a little bit sugary, it's also bushy. So maybe it comes from sweet and everything is now involved around bushy as well. So please, well, come to our bushy islands and we love to make a dive with you. If you are more of a diver, tech diver, beginning diver, nursery diver, whatever diver, you will really enjoy it out there. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys. How can I give this? Good. Yeah. Can you do that? Sorry? Como é que share o promo video? Oh. Sharing it off. Mm. Yeah? No, it's still on? No, I just... Uh, but I can do mm. that. Can Strange. Can How is that again? Yeah. Where are I still in? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Stop sharing. Okay. Yeah, I'll, but I need to. Oof. It is sharing because the Marie can see it. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me see. Where, but where's the video on on your? Uh... Do you have the video on something? 
Да. Да. Should be on here, right? Uh, I don't know if you put there. Yes. But it's basically on, on the maybe, YouTube. Maybe. Let me, no, let me let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, you still have one day and twenty hours left. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> Eight minutes. Let's show. Let's try. Ah, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Okay. <laughs> No, it doesn't show the. It doesn't show the. No, it needed to be on the screen, state. and you need to share it. No, it doesn't show the. I'm still there. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not the ejected. Yeah, but where is it then? Where is it? Where are you? Where are, ah, there you are. So, I'm not curious about promo, okay. But, so this I need to share now. So how do I do The share here. This? Yeah. Okay. Not there. Yeah, that's there's a little delay oh, yeah. always. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. There you go. All right. Leave just this one. Big. And or the other one I can. Uh, can okay. We can be looking at my face too. <laughs> <laughs> or I can be watching the video actually. Don't get tired of. Yeah. And you're there if somebody has questions. <laughs> So you have visitors? Yeah, I like nine. Nine. Uh, nine in total. Okay. So I have you, eight, eight different ones. And one potential customer. He's really interested. I sent him a... They watch the video. So? so? If you talk, get a noise on the back. Mm, I love this sponge.
sometimes happens. And um, yeah, but I think you, oh, this was during the night dive. This one I think was a sunset. The water is very uh, dark, was just before sunset. This we have here is the uh, sharp tail eel. You probably know this. Uh, we see in many places the scorpion fishes over here. Yeah, this everybody knows the name. I'm not going to tell. If you know the name, you may get the <laughs> prize. And this is one of the shallow uh, wrecks, which is in the taco boat. It's very popular for uh, divers and for uh, snorkelers as well. And this is also the producer. That link was there again. That's nice of it. Stay standing and you see many times some beautiful, a lot, a lot of uh, queen angel fishes, French angel as well. This one a little bit deeper than recreational. But it's still very colorful. The bogus over there. On this reef, you can uh, do from shallow all the way to deep. You see a lot of uh, formations on top of the um, artificial reef. I think uh, yeah. it's almost time to say goodbye. I think. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I hope you all enjoy it. And any questions, just drop back. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Just time. Yeah. Can you do? Yeah, but it's it was an hour. I assume. Yeah, it's one hour. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's still uh, going. Huh? I still see you. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I didn't stop sure. Let it finish. Yeah. Hello, Iman. See Hmm? Dat moet wel nog staan. Het zou voor een uur zijn. Ja.